Hello everyone and thank you for watching this video. In the previous video I showed you how to export the snapshots for every level of the Revit Advanced model and also how to export shades as a snapshot. If you haven't watched that and uh, you don't have access to Revit, it's okay if you want to follow with this video. You can go to the online version and then from here click on the pollination uh, icon down here, click on about and then click on advanced model and you will basically get a model which is the same as the model that I will have once I merge all these levels together. So you can use that to, to follow uh, this video. Okay, so before I get started, let me do a quick um, review of the user interface. So this user interface is the same uh, for the embedded version in Revit and the one that you see online. The one that you see online is limited in a case that you cannot open files. It's uh, new files. You can only use the about uh, to, to work with the sample files. Think about it as a demo mode for testing. The one in Revit has full functionalities. Also, the one that you see online doesn't have the snapshots here, right? The snapshots only uh, work if you're opening it inside Revit and these snapshots are linked to uh, the Revit model. So now, if you're moving from the work in progress version to the new version, you can always go here, uh, file and open an older uh, snapshot um, and add it to this model by saving it. So down here you have file for open, save and save as. There are advanced options. Uh, download logs is helpful if you, if you hit any bugs or there's an issue and you want to report it, you can download the log file so we can see the logs and what might be going wrong. The clear cache data and hard reset data are useful uh, only when there is a case that there is a new feature and then the data that's cached in your browser is uh, outdated so uh, you need to run hard reset data. We, we, have, we do our best uh, for you not to need to, to use this. And uh, if you're thinking, so all the data are cached locally in the app. So when you're using it from inside Revit, no data is going to leave your, uh, your computer. So the model is going to stay local. You see all the snapshots are also local. So don't worry about that. And there is in the frequently asked questions uh, in documentation, there is more technical explanation of how it works. So, and about I already talked about it, you can, you can access sample models. You can also go to getting it started in documentation, see the list of commands, or go to Discord uh, for asking any questions that you might have. Um, so that's this side. On this side, you have a snapshots. Then you have all the information for your model. So if I go ahead and open my model, so I'm going to open the entry level by clicking on this first one, open, which opens the file for me. So now once this is open, I can see all the levels. Of course, in this one, I only have one level. Then you can see the list of rooms. You can also uh, group them by story or level. So there is only one here, so it's not that meaningful, but you will see like when we add more, uh, what happens. You have access to roofs. So there are 15 objects as roofs here. Roofs are most likely you don't need to touch them unless uh, you need something for editing. Uh, automatically, uh, the, the Revit plugin automatically solves these roofs for you. Um, and you have shades. I have no shades here, so I don't see anything. There are no alignment lines here. You will see the list of lines. And if there are any errors uh, during the uh, process of validation, you will see them here. So this will cover all the left side. Then you can change, you can rename uh, the model here. I'm not going to do it for this one. But uh, once I merge the snapshots, I'm going to rename it. On this side, you have the uh, export. Uh, option that you can export all to all these different file formats. Every uh, file format has its own options uh, for exporting. You have the save option to save the snapshot itself. So when you make changes, you need to click on save to save the changes before before closing. You have the zoom options for zoom in, zoom out, uh, and then zoom to fit and zoom to selection. 
And here you have undo, redo, and undo history, or we call it undo multiple, so you can go back and forth. Then finally, you have the user settings here. That's the place that you can say if you want to see the roof shades, uh, check a snapping if you want to show the grid, uh, show the 3D viewer, logger, helper. And don't tell anyone, but we even have a Python script uh, editor. And there are other styles here. For example, I'm going to change the style for the lines not to be black. I'll change them to orange and then from continuous, I change them to dash. You can also change the thickness. We can do the same for the roof. So let's do a dash uh, for the roofs. And then if I close this, uh, you should see the roofs be dashed. They're not yet. So maybe the new ones will be because this one's already selected. Uh, it didn't affect them. In any case, so then you have grid size. Uh, so if I show the grid, you'll see the grid and the units are down here. So now my units are in feet and this is one feet, if I'm not mistaken. Grid size is one feet, but then you can change this, you know, to half a feet if you want. Um, so that's that's up to you and you can turn on and off uh, the view here. We will add more shortcuts so you don't have to go and click every single time but for now you have to go and click on the menu. So this should cover the whole uh, UI of the model editor. Uh, next I'm going to show you how to merge all those snapshots uh, together all the levels together and then we start uh, cleaning up. Okay, so to merge the snapshots, I open the first one, which is the first level, entry level. I want to keep it as is, I don't want to change this one. So I'm going to right click here and duplicate. And it creates a new one for me uh, down here. That's duplicate uh, from the one that I just had. So for this one, I click on edit here and I rename this to full model. Okay, I already have it and I save it. Uh, so now I have this new one called full model. I go ahead and open this new one for full model, yes. So this also has one and now you can see now that I opened it, that change that I made to the, to the roof style is applied here, you can see it. Um, so now that I have this, I'm going to add the second floor and the third floor back. Of course, I could have fixed everything level by level if I wanted, but for this model, it's small enough. I'm just going to put all the three on top of each other and then clean them up all together. If you want to clean up level by level before merging, that is totally fine too. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So this time, instead of opening, I'm going to use the second one, which is import. So I'm going to import model. This is the second level. So just click and it will import it in. Uh, you'll see now if I go in rooms here, you'll see I have the first floor and the second floor and I can quickly select all the ones on the second floor, for example. Now going back to snapshots, I'll do the same with the third. So again, not the first one, the second one, import and all the three levels are here. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, I'm not going to import shades for now. I'll just add shades at the end. Um, I'll just do the cleanup on, on rooms because uh, they're not much cleanup that we want to do with shades for this model. So just keep the shades there. And the other reason is if you have shades that are really complex, you don't want to make the uh, model heavy here, right? You just want to have rooms, objects, so you can uh, quickly clean them up as, as needed. Okay. Let me save this by clicking here before starting the cleanup. 